Welcome to the latest Fowler Welsh Industry Insight, where we ask experts about trends and issues affecting retail, food production and logistics. Edward Garner, Communications Director, Cantile World Panel. The company is uh, one of the largest market research companies in this country and also worldwide. And what we do is monitor in fine detail how people do their grocery shopping in this country. Um, so in fact, we are able to supply the finest, uh, most detailed picture of shopping behavior that's ever been available. The overall state of the grocery market is ferociously competitive. It's always been competitive in this country, but we now have the relatively new element of the German-owned discounters, which are setting new standards of low price and competitiveness. But overlaid on that is the fact that we're now out of inflation, in fact, in deflation. Uh, we measure the market as deflating at about 2%, so the shopping basket is costing 2% less than it did a year ago. Great news for the household but pretty terrible news for the retailers who are trying to get growth in a deflationary environment. The discounters certainly think themselves that they're going to grow at the expense of the big four because they have both announced plans to virtually double their store estate, um, bringing Aldi and Lidl to certainly well over a thousand stores each. I think we could certainly see their shares double uh, it won't keep on growing because they do have some problems, one of which is that uh, because of the limited list, which is one of their strengths in a sense, it normally means that when you've done your shopping there, you'll have to go somewhere else to get the items you couldn't get in the discounter. And that means you will always have the discounter existing in a repertoire rather than taking over the whole shop. I think they've changed permanently, yes. What, what's actually happened is um, rather than us flocking to the discounters, that's the sort of easy route that the journalists have taken, people have added a discounter to their repertoire. A very common shopping strategy is to shop in one of what we call the big four, that's uh, Tesco, Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, and within the same sort of cycle, also visit Aldi or Lidl. In fact, I've actually looked at this specifically. Um, one of the things I've found in our own research is that in a four-week period, 91% of the people that shop in a discounter, that's Aldi or Lidl, will also go to one of the big four. So the big four have still got their shoppers. What's happened is that they've lost some of the money because part of that shopping trip has gone off to the discounters. So there we are, it's, it's that, that's the repertoire. Main shop plus discounter is a very common strategy now. Obviously the main thing is that the fact we're now in an omni-channel world, to use that word, um, Tesco being the best example of it, where you have hypermarkets, supermarkets, Metro, Express and online. And they have different requirements for presentation, for packs, for promotions, and it really is understanding the characteristics of those different online channels. For instance, if you do a promotion that is very heavy, for instance, two bottles of two litre Coke is a heavy thing, that's going to do very well online because somebody else is going to deliver that for you. You're not going to sell many of those in an express where you're probably not even in a car. There's a slight risk of overdoing the convenience story. A lot of the growth of convenience is actually the existence of more stores. It's been pushed, if you like, by the emergence of stores such as Tesco, Express, Sainsbury's, Local, and so on. And those estates are really quite large. There's about 2,500 Tesco, Expresses, and Four Courts, and over 600 Sainsbury's, Locals, and other uh, operators are operating the market, like Little Waitrose, M&S Simply Food, and so on. But it isn't completely changing the shopping habit. What we're seeing is that perhaps the larger trip is getting a bit smaller and the smaller trip is getting a bit larger. But we're not completely forsaking the large stores. In fact, Dave Lewis of, of Tesco did say uh, we're not giving up on the big stores just yet. Mm -hmm.